Father, we just want to say thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. My viewers, you are with me on this, at this hour. Pastor Amos, you know, you, you know, the pastor in charge of the redeemed care of God, Ekiti Province 5, with their quarters at Livingstone Cathedral, Elawe Ekiti. A short message for you this morning is covenant promises. Covenant promises. Healing is a covenant promise from God. So today we'll be focusing on healing as a promise on this covenant that we have. I will take my text from Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6. But now have he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is a mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. You are welcome, if you are a child of God, even Lord, to this very particular promise of God, which is undeniable, which has been proof over the years. When Jesus Christ was on earth, he was ministering, healing to as many that will believe in him. And today, we have been given this mandate to preach healing, and we are preaching healing. And healing is being confirmed day and night across the globe. But you must be in this covenant before you can enjoy this very particular covenant blessing. There are a lot of covenant blessings, but I'm focusing, like I've said earlier, on healing. Healing is important because it's sinless bread. It's your bread if you're a child of God. But if you're not a child of God, again, this message is for you because I'm calling you to embrace Christ, to accept him as Lord and Savior. The moment Jesus Christ becomes your Lord and Savior, healing is your portion. Healing is your right. I take an example from the woman in Mark chapter 5, 25 to 34. Mark 5, 25 to 34. That's the woman with the issue of blood. This woman demonstrated a tremendous faith in the Lord. But there are two things I want you to see there. The woman was referred to as a, doll, as, as, as a woman in, in verse 25. But by the time you get to verse 34, Jesus can call her daughter. Because before she can receive that healing, something took place. Something happened in her life. She had faith in Jesus Christ. She received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And by that, she was qualified for this healing covenant. And immediately, she became qualified for it. She went for it straight. She said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, daughter, your faith has made you whole because of faith in the Lord. Therefore, what am I saying? There are three processes for you to obtain this healing, healing covenant. Number one, I've said it earlier, healing is a promise to the believers, to the heirs of salvation. First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Healing is a promise. So the first thing is you must be born again. Salvation is essential. And number two is that faith in the Lord to do what he has promised to do is very, very important. Faith. Mark 11, 22 says, have faith in God. Mark eleven twenty two. 22, have faith in God. Do you have faith that you'll be healed? Even as I'm talking with you this morning, even as you are hearing my voice, they, because Jesus Christ is not in that by distance. No, it's not in that by distance. The Bible says he sent his word and his word in them and deliver them from their destructions. So that's Psalm 107 verse 20. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent his word and his word in them. Therefore receive your healing. If you have faith to be healed, receive your healing straight away, and you'll be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Of course, that's why we'll be at the redemption camp. You listen to my Father and the Lord all the way, even in overs. Just by your television set, and you receive healing. It's the faith you need this morning. I stand by the authority of the Word of God, and I say, whatever sickness you have been nursing over the years, receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. So faith is essential, of course. Number three, either God touches you or you touch God. What is important is that you must have a touch of God. You must have a touch of God. In Mark 5 that we read earlier, verse 25, the man said, if I can touch only the hem of Jesus' garment. So you can touch it by faith. And then we have it in Matthew chapter 8, verse 3. Matthew chapter 8, verse 3. The leper came to Jesus and said, we, I know you are able to heal me if you are willing. And Jesus Christ said, I am, I am willing. And he touched him. And immediately the leprosy disappeared. I mean, instanta, the leprosy disappeared. Yes, because he believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, he received him as Lord and Savior, and he believed by faith that if Jesus Christ could touch him, he would receive his healing. And Jesus Christ touched him, and healing flow, healing flow. Healing is flowing right now. 
as I'm talking with you, healing is going out. Healing virtue is moving from the Lord Jesus Christ to you because I'm preaching his word, because I'm releasing his word. And his word cannot be separated from Jesus. His word is Jesus. Jesus is his word. So receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to share with you four steps from this woman. Uh, this woman that we have mentioned in the book of Mark chapter 5, 25 to 34. There are four things I want you to see there. Number one, say it. The woman said, if only I can touch the hem of his garment. Say it. And then she didn't stop her saying. So many of us believers today, we stop her saying. She moved. Action. She pressed. There was a crowd, very thick crowd, that was difficult. Distractions here and there. Don't let distractions distract you this morning. Because healing is on the table. And if you are a child of God, healing is your portion. And she did it. She moved. She made sure she touched. And then she had faith to receive. I always tell people, what is faith? Faith is very simple. The electricity we are using now, you believe there is electricity, that's why you switch on the, the, you switch the, the switch. And you have light. You go to the tap, you just open the tap, and you see water. Because you know there is water there. That is the same way. Just like a child, believe what God has said, that God cannot lie. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, he is the healer. He is the great physician. If only you have faith, you will receive it. You will receive it. And then number three. Because well, this is the number four. This is the problem we have. After receiving, we don't tell it. The woman confessed it. Before that time she was healed, she was not made whole. I will explain briefly what is the difference between be healed and be made whole. If you go back to the book of Luke chapter 17, Luke 17, the leper, the ten lepers, when Jesus Christ asked them to go and show themselves to the priest, all of them were healed. But one came back to confess, to testify. That's when Jesus Christ said, you are made whole. Being made whole, you can see it in the life of Naaman. Naaman the leper. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 5, if you read that place very well, you will discover that Naaman became like a, the flesh of a young baby. That's being made whole. You can be healed. If the leper be healed, you will still see the sign that this was a leper before, but now he. But when you are made whole, your flesh will return back like that of a baby. So what are we saying? Testifying about what God has done for you is essential. Even at times, you have to start testifying even to yourself before you even see the physical manifestations. Because you believe that God has done it, and you believe you have received it, and you will have it. This morning, once again, you are called to the covenant promises. Covenant promises, the basic procedure remains the same over the years. Receive salvation, believe Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, accept him, confess him, and the moment you do that one, then believe that whatever is in the word of God, as his promises belongs to you. This one we are talking about healing. So, receive healing, but the first step is you have to be born again. Join me, bow down your head, and pray a simple prayer. Lord Jesus, please accept me as your son. Accept me as your daughter. Please, Lord, the blood you shed on the cross of Calvary used to wash me clean. Wash me in your blood. Write my name in your book. Give me a new heart. In Jesus Christ's name, we are praying. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord God, Father, for all the errors. Because, Lord, they receive their healing in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah.